What is faith? Before we can know what biblical faith is, we have to read and understand the Bible. Faith in Christ produces a change of mind which produces good works for the kingdom of heaven. Outsiders often see faith as blind belief. Faith migrates from our heads to our hearts then to our hands. Faith without works is dead. James 2.26 God offers salvation through Christ's death by faith alone. However, if you have faith in Jesus, you'll be a faithful servant, not a wicked one. There's much more attached to faith than just blind belief. Faith is like a trust fall. You position yourself and perform the work, then you have faith in God will catch you. Faith in blind belief is different. You might believe if you jump off a building, you can fly. Faith is believing if you're pushed off a building, God can bring you back to life in this life or the resurrection. What is truth? Christ is literally the embodiment of truth, God in the flesh. Salvation is by faith in Christ alone, not of good works, lest any man should boast. However, Jesus requires us to utilize our faith by doing good works after salvation. If we don't, he'll throw all the lazy, wicked servants not utilizing their faith to do good works for the kingdom into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. There's many requirements God asks us to perform by faith in Jesus, every one of Jesus' parables, after the simple requirement of believing in him. God wants us to grow our faith to more than what we had in the beginning when we confessed his name on the cross. If we don't plant our mustard seed and become a living sacrifice by picking up our cross daily, dead to this world, full of faith, love, and good works, he won't transform us into wheat but leave us as a tear. If we don't foster our faith and use the talents he provides, he'll cast us into outer darkness with the hypocrites, the dogs, and those who love to live a lie. Jesus is a literal physical embodiment of the truth. He is God in the flesh, whom he calls his son. If you don't understand, follow, and live by Jesus' parables and all his teachings, you don't have the truth in you. Quote, A wicked servant is one who confesses Jesus with their lips but never does anything with it. End quote. Prophet Michael Sabados.